Oh, in this short video, I want to dig into what Tab Expansion is and how it can be used once you have got Chocolatey installed on your machine. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this is a brand new machine, uh, a VM that I've created that doesn't currently have Chocolatey installed. So if I attempt to run Chocolatey, it's not going to work. I realize that that's still maybe a little bit small. So I'm going to bump that up just a little bit. So I've tried to run Chocolatey and uh, I've got an error because it's not installed. So if you go over to the installation page, uh, I can go ahead and copy uh, this installation uh, command. And what I can do is I can paste that in, I'm going to run it. So I wanted to do this from a fresh machine uh, to show you um, part of the warning that's emitted during the creation or the installation of Chocolatey uh, and will help to explain why tab completion isn't enabled by default. So right here in this warning, it says uh, not setting tab completion profile file does not exist. So what that's telling us, and we actually have a help documentation uh, on the website that goes into this a little bit, but if we go and uh, type uh, profile into our PowerShell session, it'll tell us where PowerShell is expecting a, a profile file to exist. So if we go ahead and grab this path and then put that into uh, Windows Explorer, we'll see that there is no file there. So that's the issue. So as part of the installation of Chocolatey, uh, it's, it has attempted to add uh, the necessary information into the PowerShell profile uh, so that the necessary modules are loaded every time uh, a PowerShell session is started so that tab completion is activated for Chocolate. Now it hasn't been able to do that because that file doesn't exist. Um, so the only thing I've got on this machine uh, is uh, Notepad really. Uh, so I'm gonna use Notepad. Um, so, uh, what I did there was I did notepad and then profile, and then it's saying, do you want me to create a file? So yes, I do. And if we go back to the help documentation uh, on the site, it's this part that we need to add into the profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that information and go back to notepad and I'm gonna paste that in and I'm gonna hit save there so it gets saved. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close. You could do this by forcing the uh, refresh of the profile uh, in the current PowerShell session. I'm just gonna go ahead and close it. I'm gonna open up a new one. So let's prove that uh, Chocolate E is installed. So let's just run Choco again. So now what I can do, if I type Choco and then I do just IN and then I hit tab, what I'm now getting is the available commands that Chocolate E has. Um, with that in as the first words, the first letters in that command. So equally, I could go help and it will give me the help command. Or if I wanted to do uh, export, which is one of the new commands, then if there are additional arguments, so let's say I wanted to do choco install VS code, then tab completion here is then going to go through the additional options that I can pass through to um, the command again that I'm executing currently. So if I wanted to specify a specific version of VS Code uh, or I wanted to pass in additional parameters as part of the installation, uh, all of these uh, uh, are available via the tab completion that we've now added to the profile that uh, this PowerShell session is now running under. So it can be... Uh, very useful if you're not familiar with the chocolate commands and how they work. Uh, once you've got it activated, like I say, you can just tab through. So I didn't, I didn't add any letters at the start of there. So I'm just tabbing through all of the available commands here. So it's a really good way to get up to speed uh, with what chocolate is, what it can do, etc. Um, so I would encourage you to, uh, if you haven't already, uh, get it um, uh, activated. Now, one way to know that it's um, not activated, so obviously tab completion doesn't work, but if I attempt to use one of the uh, built-in helper methods, which is the refresh m command, which forces a refresh of the um, current environment variables that are in the, the current session, be it a, a Windows command prompt or a PowerShell session, if I attempt to run refresh m uh, without the... Uh, profile uh, edited in the way that I've done it just now. Uh, what this actually outputs here is refreshing environment variables from the registry for command.exe. So it's a good indication that if you run that uh, refresh env that uh, tab completion isn't set up correctly. Um, so if you ha uh, haven't done so already, uh, check out the documentation because uh, it's got a little bit more information than what I've talked about here. But what I did want to show is um, what tab completion is and how it can be helpful to you. So I hope that that's been useful. Uh, feel free to reach out if you've got any questions about this. Thank you very much.